Hi everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing about NEET 2022 questions. So the first question: A photographer who recently returned from Africa presents to the emergency department with abdominal pain, hepatomegaly, hemorrhagic manifestation. He died despite treatment, and an auto autopsy revealed intranuclear torus body in the liver. Which of the following vaccine could have prevented it? 17D vaccine, Nakayama vaccine, Weigel's vaccine, Jerry Lynn's strain. Okay, so the hints in this question is patient is from Africa, patient is having some liver manifestations, hepatomegaly, abdominal pain, hepatic manifestations and very important thing is patient is having torus body. Okay. Very important questions. Very, it is very necessary to know about the inclusion bodies. Either in one exam, any set or NEET or FMG, you will get a question from this. Very important inclusion bodies you have to remember. So, how to remember? So, if you see, means there are intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies, intranuclear inclusion bodies, and intracytoplasmic and intranuclear inclusion bodies. Okay. Under intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies, you have rabies in which Negri bodies is present, variola in which passion body is present, vaccinia in which guanary body is present, foul pox in which Bollinger bodies are present, molluscum contagiosum in which Henderson Petersum or molluscum bodies are present. So these are the intracytoplasmic bodies. Next intranuclear you have cowdery A and cowdery B, herpes simplex virus that is Lipskit body, you have yellow fever that is Taurus body and councilman body and you have cowdery type B adenovirus and poliovirus and both intracytoplasmic and intranuclear you have CMV, outside appearance and measles body that is warthin finkel D cells. So how to remember this? So we will learn this with the help of a small story. Okay. So the story is in a city. Okay, in a city, in a city means intracytoplasmic. In a city, intracytoplasmic, there lived a Rani. Okay, there lived a Rani. So, there lived a Rani. R for rabies, N for negri bodies. Rabies, negri bodies. Okay, so Rani means they are usually VIP only. Okay, so V for variola, P for passion bodies. Okay, so Rani means they are usually VIP only, V for variola and P for passion bodies. Okay, so this Rani goes out to take a vaccine. Okay, goes out to take a vaccine. And Rani, you know, when they go out, they don't go alone. They usually take guards with them. Okay. So, she goes to take vaccine, vaccinia. And with the guards, she go. Guanary bodies. Okay. So, she goes and takes vaccine. In that area, she sees her FB friends. She meets her FB friends. Foul pox. Bollinger bodies, foul pox, Bollinger bodies. Okay. And they go to a mall, two friends she meets, Henderson and Patterson, Henderson and Patterson, and they go to a mall. So, Henderson, Peterson, molluscum contagiosum or molluscum body, molluscum mall. Okay. So, in a city, in a city means intracytoplasmic, they lived a Rani, Rani R for rabies and N for negri bodies and Rani means they are usually VIP, V for variola and P for passion bodies and this Rani goes out to take a vaccine, okay, Rani whenever they go out, they take guards with them. So, vaccinia guanary bodies, there she meets her FB friends, F for foul pox and B for Bollinger bodies. And she meets her FB friends, the name is Mol uh, Henderson and Patterson in a mall, molluscum bodies, Henderson, Peterson bodies, molluscum contagiosum virus. So, this is, this is for intracytoplasmic. So, in a mall, she then meets 
So th this till this we have understood intracytoplasmic is over. Then she introduces her family. She is she is telling, come meet my wife. Okay. C for CMV. O for owl's eye appearance. Meet my wife. M for measles and Y for Warthin Finkel D cells. Okay. So she tells her friends that come meet my wife. C for CME, O for outside appearance. Wife, meet my wife. M for measles and W for Warthin Finkel D cell. And she, he tells come and meet my nuclear family. Happy nuclear family. Okay. Nuclear for intranuclear. Happy is a mnemonic. H for herpes. A for adeno, P for polio, Y for yellow fever. Okay. H for herpes, A for adeno, P for polio and Y for yellow fever. Okay. So, herpes we all know it usually affects the, HSV1 usually affects the lips. So, it is called a Lipscutt's body. Lipscutt's body for herpes and yellow has not invaded India still. Yellow fever. So, it is a forest disease. So, it is a tourist disease. Yellow, is a, yellow fever is a tourist disease. So, here it is tourist, you read as taurus, taurus bodies. And the tourist usually what they do, they will counsel. So, councilman bodies is also for yellow fever. Okay. So, this is a small mnemonic. So, you have intracytoplasmic, intracytoplasmic and intranuclear and intranuclear. Okay. So, in intracytoplasmic, the first is in a city, there, there lived a Rani, R for rabies and N for negri bodies. Okay. And she is a VIP, V for variola and P for passion bodies. This VIP goes out to take a vaccine. Whenever Rani goes out, they take the guards along with them. So, vaccinia, guanary bodies. There she meets her FB friends, foulpox, bollinger bodies. Her, her friends are Handerson and Peterson. Handerson, Peterson body. She meets them in a mall. So, molluscum bodies. It is seen in molluscum contagiosum. There she tells, come and meet my wife. C for CME, O for outside appearance, M for measles, meet my wife for Warthin Finkel D. And she tells, this is my happy nuclear family. Happy nuclear family. Nuclear means intranuclear, happy is a mnemonic. H for herpes, herpes usually affects the lips or lips gets body. A for adeno, P for polio and Y for yellow fever. We all know that yellow fever has not invaded India still. So, it is a tourist disease. Okay. So, tourist you read as Taurus. So, Taurus body. Usually tourists what they do? They counsel everyone where to go, how to go and all. So, it is councilman bodies. Okay. So, in this question if you see means we are able to see Taurus body. So, Taurus body just now we have read it is seen in yellow fever. So, for yellow fever, we give 17D vaccine. So, that is the correct answer. Next question. A million presents with rashes all over his body, pairing the palms and sole. On examination, he was febrile and lice were noted. Which of the following is responsible for this condition? So, before going to this question, we will see briefly about three groups are there. Typhus group. We have typhus group, we have spotted fever group and we have scrub typhus group. Three groups are there. In typhus group, we have Rickettsia Prawasaki causing epidemic typhus, causing epidemic typhus or Brill Zinser disease. Okay. And in typhi, we, we have endemic typhus. In typhi, we have endemic typhus. Rickettsia Prawasaki spreads by louse. It spreads by louse. Whereas Rickettsia Typhi spreads by flea. And Prawasaki, you have rashes all over the body. 
except palms and soul and there is no SGR or no lymphonopathy. OX19 is positive, OX2 is positive or may or may not be positive. In Brill-Sinser disease, it is usually weakly positive. Okay, how to remember this? Prolept is the mnemonic, a professional leaping. Prolept is a mnemonic. Pro for Provasaki, L for Laus, E for epidemic typhus. Okay, next typhi, we have endemic typhus, vector is flea. It has presence with rashes mainly in the trunk. SCR and lymph nodes are negative. And V Felix, we have OX19 positive. OX2 may or may not be positive. Okay, so this is about the typhus group. Next, coming to spotted fever group, we have Rickettsia rickettsii, Rickettsia conori, Rickettsia africa, and Rickettsia akeri. All these are spreaded by tick, Rickettsia akeri alone by mite. Rickettsia rickettsii causes rocky mountain spotted fever. Rocky mountain spotted fever. Rickettsia conori causes Indian tick typhus fever. Indian tick typhus. Rickettsia africa causes African tick typhus. And Rickettsia akeri causes Rickettsial pox. Okay. So here Rickettsia rickettsii usually hemorrhagic rashes are seen. SCR and lymph nodes may be seen. OX19 is positive. OX2 is also positive for all the spotted fever group except Rickettsia akeri in which all are negative. Okay. In Rickettsia conori, you have rashes are present, SR is present, lymph node is present. Africa and Akeri, you have vesicular rashes. Vesicular rashes are seen in both. And SR and lymph nodes are seen. In spotted, in uh, scrub typhus fever, it is caused by oriental susuga muski, causing scrub typhus. This is spread by the bite of mite, rashes is present, SR is present, lymph node is present and OXK is positive. Okay. So, how to remember this table? First, you have to remember prolept pneumonic, a professional leaping, a professional athlete leaping, P for Provasaki, PRO for Provasaki, L for Laus, E for epidemic typhus. Next, the pneumonic is T Fent. That professional athletic is not wearing T-shirt. Fent means fabric. So T-shirt. T Fent is a pneumonic. T for typhi, F for flea, E N for endemic typhus. Next for Rickettsia rickettsii, you have R R R R R movie. Rickettsia rickettsii, Rocky Mountain spotted fever. R R R is an action movie. So hemorrhage. It is full of fight, blood. So, hemorrhagic rashes are seen. Rickettsia conori, the mnemonic is ICON. I for Indian tick typhus, CON for conori. Another important thing you have to remember is Akeri, all will be negative. All the antigens tested in Wien Felix will be negative. For scrub typhus, OXK will be positive. So, by seeing this image, you can remember a professional athlete leaping. Rickettsia, Provasaki, Laus, Epidemic Typhus. He is not wearing t-shirt, so you provide a t-shirt for him. T Fent, Fent means fabric. Rickettsia, Typhi, Flea, Endemic Typhus. R, 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 Movie. Rickettsia, Rickettsi, Rocky Mountain, Hemorrhagic Rashes. Stylish Icon, Brunal. I for Indian Tick Typhus, C for Conori. Okay. So, by this you can remember. The question is, or rashes all over the body, sparing the palms and soles and lice is seen. Here the mnemonic is prolept. Lice, epidemic typhus, 
Provasaki. Okay, so the answer is B. Next question. Micro failure with sheath tail and two nuclei, the tail tip is suggestive of. So for this, the mnemonic is L B W Love Betrothal and Wife Loa Loa Brugia Malai and Ucheria Bancrofti and Ucheria Bancrofti. So Whenever you see sheath worms, sheath microfilaria, sheath LBW should come to your mind. These are the sheath microfilaria, lower lower, brugia malai and ucheria bancrofti. L for lower lower, love, V for brugia malai, betrothal, W for ucheria bancrofti, wife. Okay, so you compare the nucleus to that of the phone call. So what happens when you are committed or when you are in love? You will be have you will be in phone calls throughout throughout the night. You will be in phone calls. So the phone calls you will be comparing to that with nuclei. To that of the nuclei. Okay. So throughout it will be present. Okay. For in love, that is lower lower. Next, once you are engaged or betrothal happens, what happens? The phone calls will be widely separated. So two widely separated nuclei will be there. Once you get married, what happens? No phone call will be present. That is Ushair Van Kofti, no phone call. Okay. So L B W Loa Loa Brugia Malai Ucheria Van Kofti Love Betrothal Wife. For Loa Loa, the uh, nuclei will be present throughout. For Brugia, there will be two widely separated nuclei. And for Ucheria, there won't be any nuclei. Okay. So the question given here is. Sheetra. So the mnemonic is LBW, two nuclei at its tail tip. So it is Betrothal Brugia Malai. Okay. This occurs mainly due to prolonged hospital stay or due to prolonged administration of antibiotics. Thank you.